Kanchipuram, a district in the state of Tamil Nadu, is famous for its numerous temples with Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu as their presiding deities and the age-old art of hand-woven silk saris. Represents an atmosphere of divinity and simplicity. With a district population of about 50 lakhs, spread over an area of nearly 4,400 hectares at present. The town has welcomed tourists for its monumental and historic temples right from the Pallava king's times up to the British rule and the independence thereafter. The town reflects the glorious tradition of South India. Among seven pilgrimage places, namely Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kasi, Kanchi, Avantika and Dwaraka, Kanchi finds a place. Kanchi is all about temples and hand-woven silk saris. Handloom silk saris are the ultimate. It is famous the world over. Let us now take a look at the intricate process of silk weaving art which would give us an insight as to why these saris have become so famous throughout the world. It takes approximately 15 days to weave a handloom sari. The white silk threads called koras are woven with spindles in a designated pattern by synchronized hand and feet movements. The powders are not to be more than 0.008 grams. The color powder is emptied into a special vessel containing boiling hot water. The white silk threads are hung in wooden sticks and dipped in the boiling water with the color powder. The process requires special skills to dip and remove the silk threads from the hot colored water vapors. After the silk threads have absorbed the color, they are washed in room temperature water and the excess water is squeezed out by hands. After the required color threads are fully dried, they are taken to charkas where the various color threads are wound on cylindrical cardboard spindles. The colored thread cardboard spindles are then fixed to the handloom treadles and the craftsman starts weaving exquisite designs. This craftsman says that the art craft is almost 50 to 60 years old. They say that most of their children are educated and prefer to work in factories and organizations rather than toil in the handloom workshops. He says that in those days people used to stand in queues and the roads would be crowded with people to buy these handwoven silk saris as they are made from the highest quality silk yarn. The handlooms are capable of creating unique designs and patterns as against machine-made silk saris where the designs and patterns are very limited. Hand-woven designs made in handlooms can't be obtained from machines. 
and crafting is matchless. Silk saris means hand-woven, hand-loom silk saris like the goddess Kamakshi. Separating each yarn, winding, dyeing are all very unique. You and I can't do it. The fate of these age-old craftsmen presently hangs in a balance because of lack of skilled craftsmen belonging to the younger generation. The craftsmen say that only a handful of them are now left who know the intricate skills of coloring, separating, gathering and weaving the silk yarns. This craft is on its way out. After us, we don't know who will carry it forward. We are praying for salvation. Work has dwindled. Hardly any handloom craftsmen left too. Handlooms are over. There are no jobs. This man says that after a few years, handlooms will be history. The sound of handlooms have almost ceased. These craftsmen have to be encouraged by us so that the traditional art of silk weaving does not die a natural death due to lack of our support and encouragement. Let us therefore join hands to remove the worry from the faces of these craftsmen and put back the smiles on their faces. Let us keep the hearts of these highly skilled craftsmen ticking and light their lives to save the age-old traditional art of hand-woven silk saris.